Okay, well, welcome to the family show. We're so glad to have you guys today. And uh, Sam here with Pastor Todd and our good friend, Have. Hey, hey. Todd, how you doing today? I'm doing great, man. It's been a good week. Good great. week. We just got done with uh, all the Vacation Bible School stuff a couple weeks ago, and kids had a great time. They're getting ready to start school, all that good stuff, but it's been good. Yeah. yeah. Our yeah. son loved the VBS. It was, it was excellent. Good stuff. Good stuff. Hey, how are you today, man? Oh, I'm doing fantastic. Wonderful. I noticed that we've got some buckets here today. We do. Okay. What is that for, Dave? Well, that's for our gang. Okay. Well, if I'm not mistaken, uh, somebody told me that we're going to be talking about some big rocks. Yeah, big rocks. That's right, yeah. big rocks. Big rocks in life. Oh, what does that mean? Don't go too far, because I know we got a conversation. But, Just, but give us a brief synopsis. Those most important things. Those yeah. most important things in life. Yep. Ah, some good, very important things in life. Yep, I like it. Okay, well, the good news is... I have a game today that's that's kind of like this, but I call it's called Big Apples. Oh, I, well, at least they're edible. You can't eat rocks. I know that's I like apples because they're edible and they can be big. And and so what we're going to do today is you have a bucket in front of you and you're going to fill it with apples yep. based on really important life knowledge. Oh, oh yeah, I like right. that idea. Okay, right? yeah, that's yeah. good. They're like your big rocks, but they're big apples, mostly because. These facts aren't maybe nearly as, um, oh, thank you. <laughs> maybe as important as, as important. a big rock. Yeah, okay. Yeah. They're just kind of big apple knowledge. Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah, makes sense. Okay, here we go. Uh, 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 well, first off, let's do the title of the game. Okay. The title of the game today is called Big Apples. Oh, I like that. It's. Very original. That's great. New York style. Well, yeah, it's almost New York style. I, I literally said to myself this morning, mm -hmm. when we go to name the game, there's no way it could be any worse than awesome game ever. <laughs> wow. I feel like that was a shot. Zing. Yeah. yeah. Just kidding. I like that game name. But I like the super simple on the fly game name, too. Yeah. So we're going with big... Apple. Big, big apples. apples. Great. That's okay, great. kids. Well, you're going to do this with us. On the count of three, say big apples. Okay. For the like Ready? Ready? Big. big. Oh, wait. Hold on. We I didn't count we to three. Count. Oh, we are. Oh, simple rule. Hey, you just established it. <laughs> three fingers. Ready? One, two, three. Big, big apples. apples. Yay. Apple, apple pie. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Look it up on YouTube. Yeah. With your parents. What's going to happen is I'm going to ask you some questions. <laughs> A couple of trivia questions. And these questions are actually, they're not just do you know it. They're good things to know about life. I like it. I okay. Like it. Okay. And you need to answer them. And if you answer, if you, if you answer first... Then you get to grab an apple from the bucket between the two of you. Okay. All right. All right. I like it. And you put it in your jar, and we'll see who gets the most after a few questions, okay? Perfect. I'm Perfect. ready, bro. Okay, here we go. Ready? ready. Yep. Question number one. How many noses does a slug have? None. Three. Zero. Three. It's zero. It's four. Oh. oh. And by the way, so you all know, I looked all these up on the puppet internet, so there's no way they're false. The puppet net. <laughs> the, the puppet, puppet net. net. The puppet uh, net. The puppet net. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Four. Which means no one gets an apple. Yeah, that's bad. Oh. The bucket's still empty. Okay. I'll let you take one apple per answer you get right on this next one. Ready? Okay. Name a mammal that cannot jump. Dolphin. A mammal that can't, cannot jump. Dolphins jump out of the water. All the time. All the time. That's sort of like what you want to see world. <laughs> I just deprived. Deprived traffic. <laughs> As uh, we've been a told. That can't jump. A uh, elephant. A, 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 oh, a that's one. Go a ahead and take it. A 
No, a seal. No, oh, those. Thinking, they can't jump out of the water just like a dolphin. They no. whoop. No, up that, on the stage. Yeah, I'm just thinking like. Um, I'll let you get one more. A duck-billed platypus. But, no, they jump over like little sticks and stuff. An octopus. Is an oh, octopus a an octopus! No, octopus are mammals. <laughs> it's a sloth. It's a sloth. Oh, Did you know sloth? that? Yeah, they don't jump. Sloths don't jump. They just sort of reach and like hook with their. Why are you showing off? Two more. That you know, uh, no big deal. MB. So he's got two. One. I have one. No, he just said hippos. He has two, one. Oh. Hippos can't jump either, and neither can rhinoceros. Ah, hippos can't. Okay, ready? Yeah. Next. Next question. What is the fastest land animal? A cheetah. Oh, you're right. Tar wing. Boom. Boom. Give me that apple. I was gonna say a uh, elephant. And you would have been wrong. Are fast. You'd have been wrong. That's not quite right. Yeah. Yeah. That would have given you a rock, not an apple. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Yes. Question number four. What is the fastest aquatic animal? Oh, uh, swordfish. Dolphin. You're right. It's well, it's the sailfish. 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 That's the, yeah. yeah. The wow. one, is, hey, the one with the pointy nose Excuse that me, looks Sam. like a dart. Screw over a little bit. Hey, I gotta no. pick up my next apple. Okay. How did you know that, Todd? Because I watched a lot of fishing network. Oh, oh that's yeah. good. I like fishing. That's good. Yeah. You like fishing? Uh, no. And there it is. No. Okay, this one, whoever gets it fastest, what is the sweet food that is made by bees? Honey. Whoa! Whoa! He didn't even say... You didn't even know that I was going to yeah. say bees! He's just making stuff up. Woo! Grab hey, your kids, apple. you see this? Okay. We both had two apples. Two. Two, two to two. Two. Okay, Time ready? Question. What color are the spots on a common ladybug? Black. Oh! Red. Black. They're black. It's red with black. <laughs> it's with black. You're trying to pull one over on on old Have over here. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me pull this up. Whoa. I just want to thank the Academy for making this possible for mm. Dave Dane in his old Bible school outfits that he always wears. All the little people. Right there. Right there. There you go, Have. I got okay. three apples. What? Is the lifespan of a Tyrannosaurus Rex? Oh, I don't know. Uh, six months. They're extinct. Six months. More than six months. A year. Twenty-seven years. Twenty-seven years works. I'll take it. Grab your apple. It's twenty to thirty years. That's not. I mean, that's common knowledge. Who knows that? Everybody, everybody knows. That is a you have hey, three guesses. Hey, <laughs> you might make fun of it, but that is an important apple of life. Okay, all right, we got three. Three to three. Three, three. Okay, here is the tiebreaker. Pay tie attention. Breaker. <sighs> Please, Lord Jesus. This one's going to get crazy. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to think here. Stretch out. On which, yeah, should we stretch? Uh, <clears throat> stretch it out. Uh, I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready too. You ready, Sam? Uh, ready. You look confused. I was I was listening. I was just I was just listening. I was waiting. Okay. I'm in the zone. So here we go. In the zone. Which mammal lives the longest? Ele elephant. No. Wow. I'm just going right at it. <laughs> All right. No. Uh, a mammal lives the longest. Sorry. Wrong. I'll give you a hint. It lives in the water. A, a whale. A whale. It is a whale. A killer whale. It is a whale. It's or not a killer whale. whale. It's called the... Beloga whale. Bowhead whale. I said whale. Okay, so go ahead and take an apple for whale, Todd. But I'm going to ask one bonus apple question. How many years do you think it lives? 127 years. More. 3,000. 247 hundred days. Months. <laughs> what? <laughs> Trying to do math sure, less probably. <laughs> probably. Um, two hundred years. You're on the money. No Bowhead whales live for up to two hundred years. That's a big fish, man. Man, and that's a that's a long life. We're that tied. We're Talk tied about again. a creature that probably has quite a few rocks of knowledge. Yeah, he does. A lot of rocks. A lot of Many rocks. rocks. Um, uh, hey, we're going to need one more question because we're tied right now and I have to win. Oh. 
Got another question? Yes. Go. This is my very last one because it's a locked and loaded simple question. What is my favorite color? Yes. Orange. Oh, you got it. Your tongue got it. He knew. He knew. He knew. Let me get this. Todd wins the game oh. because he has more apples of knowledge. Oh, Congratulations. But keep in mind, Todd, yeah. that your apples of knowledge are nothing compared to the big rocks of knowledge. <laughs> exactly. That's true. I see what That's you did true. there. This guy's smart. That was a great segue. <laughs> it was. Great it segue. was. So what are we talking about today? We're talking about big rocks in parenting, those important things. So stick around, parents, and uh, join us for a conversation. See you soon. One, two, three. <laughs> Hey, so that was uh, that was a great game with Have. Yeah, yeah. uh, big apples, big rocks. Today we're talking about big rocks of parenting. What are those most important things? And yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, I, Sam, I know you've probably seen. I think all of us have probably seen at some point that illustration where you have the guy or the uh, the lady with the big glass cylinder, mm -hmm. uh, and in that cylinder she has a whole bunch of tennis balls over here. She has some sand over here, and then she has uh, water over here, and 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 you have all of these things. And if she puts the sand in first. Uh, trying to prioritize time yep. and then tries to put the tennis balls in, she can't fit them all. They don't fit. But if she no. puts the tennis balls in and then pours the sand in, then she can even add the water and it all evenly fits. And what we're going to talk about, like you said, uh, today is what those big rocks or tennis balls in that analogy, what those really should be for our kids and how how those things shape their lives. You know, what are those big markers that we have uh, because each one of us as parents I've always talked about it's I think it's amazing and it's incredible a God given situation that any marriage makes it because yeah. you've got these two worlds mm -hmm. colliding and they all had their parents with their big rocks that they thought were priorities and navigating all those things but how what are those things how do they shape us mm -hmm. and how do we sort of navigate those things with our kids yeah. so and as parents I mean, that's that's one of our big jobs right oh, is that man. we're going to teach our kids what are those most important things yeah. and yeah. i read i read this quote and i thought it was great is yeah. is that one of the most sobering truths about parenting is that you are teaching your children something, whether you are being intentional or not. And that is just so true, right? Yeah. That, that we are teaching our kids <laughs> something all the time. That's so and nerve-wracking. It, it, all the time, my kids are learning, and it's it could be good things, uh -oh. it could be bad things. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I have a uh, two older daughters who are both driving, and I drive with one of my daughters and the way that she yells at uh, at other at other cars, and she's like, you know, the thing she says, yeah. and I'm like, this is a carbon copy of me. I've never told her, here's what you say to drivers. Oh, yeah. In fact, I'm like, hey, you don't need to say that. Yeah. But um, yeah, I, but she is learning something from me. I didn't set out to uh, teach her that, but yeah. that is what she observed by just being those, <laughs> in my presence. Those little eyes and, yeah. and minds constantly are taking in and absorbing everything that surrounds them. I have always said that kids are absolutely carbon copies of the homes that they're raised absolutely. in, good or bad. Good or bad. Uh, but one good of the funniest bad. stories I remember with my daughter was we had just watched Ace Ventura, and it's the moment where he's fighting the guy and he throws a spear over here in this level. And this, like, it's, it's gross example, but I don't know how she registered it because she was so little. So, at one of the in the movie, he's like, ah, ah, and he's screaming back and forth, and it's just ridiculous. Okay, so we're driving down the road. My son's in the back seat and his car seat, and my daughter, who was a top, I, she must have been like two, maybe one and a half, two, and she is in the back seat. She starts going, ah. And she pulls her binky out just long enough to do it. And we're sitting here like we're about to pull the car over thinking yeah. something's wrong. Well, no, she's doing what she saw in the movie. And my son's the one that catches it. She's doing Ace Ventura, Dad. And I I just, it was one of those glimpses where you're like, man, they are watching everything. What did I just teach uh, my kid? I thought she was just sleeping. This is going to be great at the Baptist Mother's Day Out program she goes to. Your child's screaming like, Mr. Mears, what is that all about? Mm -hmm. Well, it was Ace Ventura. You let her watch what? <laughs> yeah, so it was just a little bit of a crazy situation mm -hmm. for sure. But um, it, 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 they are just constantly observing. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I think uh, so when it comes to parenting, uh, what are those most important things? And I think for each one of us, it's mm -hmm. different. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, those things, we are very much carbon copies and products of our parents' influence and their parents and so forth. And it all gets filtered down. But what are those 
big rocks as a parent that you want your kids mm-hmm. to walk away with, mm-hmm. uh, and, and, you know, uh, wh- and their faith, their faith walk, and how they interact, and their relationship mm-hmm. with God, um, you know, and how do we, how do we develop those mm-hmm. things in our kids? And and have we actually asked ourselves those questions? Yeah. What are those important things? What kind of things? What kind of person mm-hmm. do I want my kid to become? Yeah. And so I think that's something that we should you know take a few minutes and talk about. Like even for, for sure. you, because I think if yeah. we can give some, maybe even for our viewers, if we can give yeah. a little bit of like here's some substance. What does it look like? So maybe what what's one of those things for you that's really important <laughs> well, for your kids? One of those big if, rocks. For for me, I, I remember my kids as they were growing up, I would often tell them, you know, our desire is I want other people to want to be around you. Mm-hmm. Um, and we said things like break their will, not their spirit. Um, you know, a, a big rock for me was that people would look at them uh, and go, man, that's a good kid. You mm-hmm. know, like it, it was it was important to us. Mm-hmm. And and we have been blessed and had those conversations where people come up and go, look, your son did this or your daughter did this. And man, what a gift and what a blessing. Mm-hmm. We just wanted I think a big rock uh, for us was for our kids was to it, we wanted others to see Christ in them. And, and that encompasses a lot, mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. you know, a giver, a caring person, a good listener, uh, that person who's going to be there for you regardless of what's going on. That servant's heart, um, we wanted that, just mm-hmm. to care for others. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was a giant rock for us, mm-hmm. like I, mm-hmm. I, I think was, you know, probably the most important. Mm-hmm. But we also knew that it had to be modeled yeah. in front of them, yeah. which is the challenging part. That is the challenge. Yeah. And I would say for us, that's, I mean, that's one of those most important things for us too, was yeah. really, you know, we talk about, we want our, our, our kids to really uh, follow the example that Jesus, that Jesus says, it says, yeah. love your neighbor as yourself and really to live that out. That's an easy thing to say. That's a hard thing to do. Oh yeah. And to sure. really be the kind of kids who are, who are compassionate, who are kind, who yeah. are uh, generous. That was important. Like their character was sure. really, really important. And, and I think, you know, another thing came down to, we wanted them to really understand and know that they were loved by God. And, oh, and yeah. the reality for me is that comes down a lot of it to their view of God is going to come to, mm-hmm. um, come from from how do their parents treat them? And oh, so there's a lot okay. of responsibility. Like how, how are we treating our kids? Yeah. Because that's going to really reflect a lot of what do they think about God? And so yeah. um, those, I think those were a couple of really big things yeah. for us. Well, and, 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 you know, as I said a second ago, you know, we have to model that for our kids, but yeah. also it, you know, living, passing down to our children, a Christ filled life, mm. not a trial free one. You know, we we have that intention and we have that heart as parents. But, man, when something drastic happens uh, and, and, you know, world sort of gets flipped on its head, how do we navigate that? Does our faith sort of go out the window? Does that active faith, that 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 daily walk weaken in those moments? We're only human. You know, but we're also parents. Yeah, and 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 saying we don't, you know, we want to we want to have our help our kids have a Christ um, a Christ filled life, life, not a trial free life. Like yeah. we're like, that's really easy to say yeah, in concept for sure. But when our kids are dealing with something hard or oh. difficult or painful, it's hard not to want to just, I'm just going to step in. I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to alleviate all your pain. Yeah. Um, but it seems like a lot of times, you know, our, I know for me and I think, you know, um, I'm sure for you yeah. that, that the most growing times in my life have been the most difficult and well, painful. I, you never stop being a parent. Hmm. You just don't. No. And both I, your I kids have, are grown. Yeah, I have 20 and a 24-year-old. I have the privilege of working alongside Susan Kennedy, and her daughters are in their 30s. Um, and it's just a fact. You're never going to stop being yeah. a parent. Sort of get your get your head around that to begin with. And and um, it is so hard to see your kids hurting. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and how do you not sort of go a little bit bonkers? You know, mm-hmm. they're helicopter parents when they're kids, but when they, you know, how, how do you navigate that? I don't know. Yeah. And, yeah. and how, how do we continue to point them to God oh, in the yeah. midst of that and, yeah. and help them to say, how do we still form good things in them yeah. while they're dealing with difficulties? Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think one of the things with uh, this idea of what's most important, those big mm-hmm. rocks is yeah. 
Um, we can say, here's the things that I want for, for my kids. Yeah. Uh, but there's all these outside fluent influences mm-hmm. that are constantly changing and, and, yep. and kind of impacting the way that we, the way that we think and the way yeah. that we parent. And so we need to continue to recalibrate, keep yep. coming back to these things and, and saying, okay, this is what's most important. Because if I, if I don't keep coming back to the most important things, yeah. um, I, I get off center because, our society is telling us different things that are most important. I, I remember my girls when, you know, probably even elementary school started, you know, school started talking about college and college mm-hmm. is the most important thing. And it's hard. And, you know, I'm, I'm all about our girls going to college. Oh, yeah. I wanted to go to college. Yeah, yeah. And I, but that's not the most important thing. Yeah. It's an important thing, yeah. but it's not the most important. Yeah. But if I make that the most important, then I, I end up saying, well, it doesn't matter about your character. I, all yeah. we're focusing on yeah. is you know, school and getting oh, grades yeah. and getting the SAT and, yeah. you know, all those kind of things. And while that's an important thing, it's not the most important. So well, we have to keep coming back. Exactly. Well, we had one of those moments just not too long ago. I think it was July 26th, I believe. Mm-hmm. Uh, this reminder came up uh, on Facebook and it was of me sitting in the stands, taking a picture of a football field at Vandergriff High School mm-hmm. where my son was doing a camp before me and my family moved from Arlington. It was over 10 years ago. Yeah. And I took this picture and I sent it to my son and I said, check this out. And his reply was, man, how priorities have changed. Mm-hmm. Boy, that's not even on my radar now. Mm-hmm. And he's, you know, going to be a father in end of November. Mm-hmm. And um, just it, not saying, you know, some of those medium sized rocks are going to mm-hmm. shift. Yes. Yep. You know? But, uh, you know, I think what we're trying to sort of get across to you, parents, is, you know, find those things, those non-negotiables. Non-negotiables. That's a good word. Yeah. And, 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 and hold on to them. Uh, live them out uh, as best as you can. Uh, God's grace. Right. Amen. Um, but, you know, plant those in there and, because these other ones are going to sort of shift mm-hmm. around on them. Uh, depending on life journey uh, mm-hmm. and depending on, and everybody's going to be different. So there's yeah. not this sort of static, yeah. this works for everybody. Yeah. So, yeah. And I, I would just, you know, maybe just a thought for parents mm-hmm. is, is if, if this is a conversation you haven't had together or you yeah. haven't thought about, yeah. you know, about your kids, this might be a good, a good conversation to have um, and, or to think about or to yeah. write some things down and say, what really are those most important things yeah. um, and begin to implement those. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, I, t- I tell you, parents, this is this, even as we sort of put these notes together and have these discussions, it's great for us. Mm-hmm. Uh, because we we try to implement so much of our practical journey in life and the people that influenced us uh, in these conversations. And we pray that you guys enjoy it and and, and it helps you. Uh, um, it's not easy being a parent, uh, but uh, no. it, it, to me, it, to me, it has been one of my greatest joys. And I yeah, think at absolutely. the end of the day, we can absolutely. all say that. So yeah. we hope that this blesses you. And uh, once again, if you ever have any questions for Pastor Sam, uh, email sboon at riverbend.com. You can email me, Pastor Todd, T. Mears at riverbend.com. Uh, just contact us if you ever have any questions or would like to even hear us talk about a certain subject. We'd love to engage in some things that you'd be interested in. Yeah, we've got a, we've got over 10 uh, family shows now up. Yeah. And so go back, check out all those and we have more coming. Yeah, for so. sure. Well, other than that, uh, we appreciate you guys. Uh, God bless you. We hope you have a great week and uh, we're here for you if you need us. Take care. Thanks for joining. All right.